Welcome back guys, it's episode 4 of 2020 The Grind and we are going to be checking trail cameras again today. On the last episode we checked one of our first cameras that we put out and now we are actually going to go check uh, one of the cameras we put out in a different spot. Really hoping we got some nice deer on this camera. We haven't been able to blast what's out here versus the other field. We knew there was bucks in the area. The only sign of deer that we know are when we walked out last time we actually had two like two year old bucks. They're both nice eight pointers jump out in front of us. So we figured, you know, if not we'll at least have those on camera but i'm really hoping that since we're back during somebody's private bean field that was that place with the tree stand that we have something on camera if not we got another place that we plan on going right away it's on a hay field so we're going to go and we're going to show you some of the things that we pick up on look at some runways we're going to look at some of the vegetation that we're actually hunting why we're doing that so come along So this is one of those areas where you walk by it and it's on the trail. Most people are going to walk by it, breeze by it, not think twice. This is actually really good. So if you can see this and you can show them on the camera, we have low bushy trees and tall grass. The perfect, absolutely perfect place where a big buck would want to lay. There's nice runways coming out of here. Um, we actually are spots just on the back side of this. It's a good setup if you are looking for spots. This is really close to where we're walking in from, but if you're out scouting and you see something like this, definitely worth a walk because you never know, you know, you could walk in there, you could find maybe some, some food, some water, you know, maybe it's just a nice spot to sit in a tree where you can shoot a lot of different areas. This is a good place to set up. If you walk in the woods and it's 92 degrees out, And you're not sweating, you're not working hard enough, you're not grinding hard enough. I almost couldn't find our way back to our camera. Yeah, we just kind of Robinson Crusoe'd it through the woods without a machete, eating all the spider webs and wood ticks that we possibly can. But we made it. I need to go check this thing out. We do lock our stuff up. Uh, public land, you never know what's going to happen. Um, Brownie makes a great shell. And if you screw it to the to the tree with two screws, we use a 3 8 size hex bit, nobody's going to get this thing off unless they literally come ready to... Oh, look at that frog. He's zooming on this thing. Look at that thing, it blends right in. Let's see what we got, dude. Oh my gosh, I am dripping. Just dripping freaking sweat. 11.16 a.m. Oh, first picture, we got a nice big buck, dude. When did we put this out? We put that out the 17th at night, right? Mm-hmm. Well, first picture, we got a decent buck. Shoot, I... I... You put in all that work sometimes and it just doesn't pay off. That first deer that when we first opened up the disc, we had that nice buck. It was actually a nice eight pointer. It had curly brow tines. It had lots of mass, so it could be an old deer, but the time length just wasn't there. It's not going to score very well. Uh, and for us down here, I mean, that'd be like a reserve list buck. Obviously, we're not we're not really meat hunters. Um, we're just out here to enjoy it and really challenge ourselves when we go hunt. If we got nothing else, uh, it'll probably just be a reserve backup spot. Maybe if somebody wants to come down, also wants to come from Texas, he wants to shoot that buck, awesome. Somebody in there wants to come down and shoot a 125-inch 8-pointer, sweet, go for it. But you win some and you lose some, and that's just the part of hunting, you know. We're going to get out of here, sweat a little bit more, and go check this other camera. And, you know, hopefully we got something going for us. Back for today, we got a new spot we're going to check out. I actually lights. Three cameras is what I'm looking for. Three. And it's going to be more woodsy. We're going to be kind of in between fields and some draws, but this is going to be... Kind of what we're used to back home, where you're hunting big timber ridges, uh, almost like bluff hunting in Minnesota is what I'm going to compare this to. Um, really excited for it, but we got to make a quick pick stop. It's 12-10, Bass Pro here. Oh, 10 bucks a piece, not too bad. This is an expensive, expensive hobby. Once you get into it and tally all your stuff, if you're hunting for me, you can get by being pretty cheap. If you're really trying to get out there and do stuff, it's not cheap at all. 
I got the SD cards, which is fine, but I was looking for that trail camera. It screws into a tree, just like a bow hanger would, but it has that pivoting kind of on it bearing. It's similar to what this is. Hawk makes probably a decent one. You know, you screw that into a tree, but it's not what I need. I'm just looking for like the cheap $5, just to have a little pivot. Shields has them, I'm just gonna order them online. We just got to this new spot. It's about a half hour up north of us. There's a ton of hidden fields back here. We're really just gonna try to figure out where they're the deer are funneling through. Hopefully get some pinch points out in these fields and little draws that go in between the fields. Hopefully we get some big bucks back here. We should. It looks like it's a thick jungle compared to some of our other spots. So we're just gonna go for a little walk here. Well, more than a little walk. It's gonna be a long walk, but hopefully it turns out everything looks as good as it does on Onyx. And really, just find some more big Missouri bucks. It's a cedar, man. I know. <laughs> We are definitely funneling this ridge. We followed a runway right off the field here and actually came right up to our waypoint we set on Onyx. We got some runway splitting off. There's some oaks down here on the side. We'll probably see if we can't set something up down on the oaks there. See where they really are funneling through. I mean, there's runways going all up on top of here. But Look at the barbs on these runways and you can find deer hair. That's your double check to find whether or not you're legit or not. Which, this is definitely deer. So let's follow this runway up a little further, see what we can find. That's more like it. Little banana leaves, whatever that thing is. We'll just explain us. Now the inner buried grills in me is telling me that this is either a tree with termites, which I've never seen before, or it's infested with ants. And oh, dude, look at those! Oh, they're ants. 100% <laughs> freaking ants. Oh, is it focused on them? Yeah. Like actually? Yeah. Blurry? No, that is so gross, dude. You're in a survival situation. These are really just good to eat raw. Not a, not a chance, no. Uh-uh. I'm sorry, Bear, but I'm not in a survival situation. Yeah, look at that. So, it's a no for me, man. It's, yeah, no. That thing is... I'll pass. Hard pass. Oh, yeah. Dude, you walked through a nest. Yep. That's crazy. You gotta go brush off, dude. Like we said, wood ticks are bad down here. <laughs> <laughs>